Right! Try out Duel slash Rental Competition 3 Electric Boogaloo. No, that's the second one, Electric Boogaloo. Whatever 3 is. Uh, the Return, the Revenge of Duel Trial has come out. Um, we get a free pack, which is Passage of the Sun. Which is not a great pack, but if somebody's playing a certain deck out of there, they might want to get one of those. Spoilers. What decks are they giving us? What is the theme? Well, they give us Condemned Message, Exodia, and Venomanaga, the deity of poisonous snakes. Uh, so they're instant win, special win condition decks. So this is going to be interesting. A Destiny board was the first ever cards I ever bought off eBay. So uh, I have a nostalgia for that. I have never owned every single piece of Exodia, but I always think they're really cool. Oh, nice. Exodia Incarnate. And Venomanaga, I always thought was a pretty sweet boss monster, but apparently her win condition is uh, nigh impossible to get out. I think I did a top 10 hardest win conditions, uh, and she was like number one or something. However, in Japan right now, it's the 1st of April. Happy April, everyone. Um, jokes on you, I guess. Because they've put out some April things. What did we get? Well, we got a number 41 Buguska, the terribly tired Tapir, aka uh, a very drunk and sleepy Tapir. Uh, we got that. We got um, an icon. I don't know how this... Why is he an April Fool thing? I assume it's April Fool. And we even got a, a Buguska um, background with him sleeping with a little... But uh, kind of cool. Kind of nice. Uh, I mean, I don't want them. Thank God there isn't a mate included in that. So if you want that, you, you can get that if you want to. Uh, but for the time being, we are going to be jumping into the dual trial. Every time we do one of these, the goal is to get three wins. So we get a win, a win, a win. Um, wait, how many wins do we need? Three. Yes, yeah, so we get one win, two win, three win. And then that's done. And then we try and make sure we get whatever win condition is available in there. So we're going to start with... What chat has told me is the worst of the loner decks, uh, a Destiny board deck. So let's go and see if we can get two wins with each of these. Uh, fun fact, I don't think I've ever won. I haven't won many duels with the duel trial, I don't think. Did I talk about the new ban list? No, I haven't talked about the new ban list. Um, should I do that today or should I do that? I'll do it on, um, I'll do it on Monday with the, the new... When, when is the live? Is it live, the new ban list? When does that become live? The 10th? I'll do it on the, on the Monday then. It's kind of cool though. Like, I was happy with a lot of the stuff. But at the same time, I wanted more. I wanted the... Um... S snow to be banned. I wanted um, smoke grenade to be banned. And those are the only ones that I think I really wanted. Everything else I was kind of fine with. I think hitting the floodgate cards more is a good thing to do for the game. Um, I think I saw somewhere where it's just kind of helping like certain decks though that are already pretty meta. So I don't know. But it was a terrible list. I want them to ban Elf. Elf isn't an issue for me at the moment. I'm still kind of okay with it. I get why people want it banned. And I can understand that they have banned it in the TCG and OCG now. So it definitely sh will get banned eventually. But I mean, I'm all right for it for like another month or something. It doesn't feel super toxic. But I kind of get it. Hope they do an emergency ban list. We have a tier limit. No, that's what they'll do. Tier limits will come out and they'll do an emergency ban list as it's coming out. They did that for Sprite and they did it for something else, I think. So that should be the case. That should be what happens. I should be learning this. Okay. Mirror match. We're playing Null. Ma uh, ban Alpha Maxi. I think Maxi ban is Copium for quite a while long longer. Let's play Dark Sanctuary. This lets me use my monster zones as spell and trap zones. And if my opponent attacks, we flip a coin. And it either damages me or my opponent. Uh, setting that would not be a bad shout. Um, I'm going to spin Sangam. I'm going to 
attack. Wait, we have a link one. Almirage. Mm, no, I'd rather just battle. They only slap the issue on the wrist. From what I can tell, Konami's done things to ensure any card that can work with tier stays in the game. Oh, so they really want to keep make tier very good when they come out. So, uh, like, if I had to do, like, a... What's my opinion on from the last ban list to this ban list? So, basically, this format we've been in at the moment. This has been my least favorite format of all of Master Duel so far. Um, these deck out de decks, um, Floodgate Runic decks and things like that have just been so frustrating to play against that I haven't really enjoyed myself um, for pretty much the most part. Almirage will trigger Sangan, right? So, I mean, the, the more they change of that, the better. So I'm curious to see what the, the Tillament format will be like, because that's like the big thing. That's the big Yu-Gi-Oh change that's happening. Oh yeah, the Flandry's map didn't make sense to me. Going down to one. Um, I kind of get it. I, I think it's just for the frustration. It is frustrating to play against Flandry's and they just keep on going. That was cool animation. So like them hitting it to one. I mean, okay. I'll take a tour guide. But like it's not that it's not an issue. It was a weird one to hit. It's only to limit the, the tillament counters. You think so? This is interesting. Uh my opponent is one fifth two fifths of the way to beating me already. Uh I assume we don't have any back row removal. I I kind of assume that none of the decks have back row removal. We are in a pickle. Snake Row has uh, back row. Exodia has Entis. Oh, okay. Uh, my opponent is popping off. <laughs> oh no. This might be harder. Dark Spirit can be used from my hand, right? Or is it just from the grave? If your opponent monster attacks at the start of damage step, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to take one level eight. Fiend monster in your graveyard special summon it. Oh, it's for um, Necrofear then. So we need to get Necrofear in the grave. If you're against the Dogmatic deck, never summon a monster. They'll never get to remove anything. Oh, the Reptile one has Harpies. Okay. Does it have Snake Rain? I hear Snake Rain is a very good card. Alucard. If a spirit message card would be placed on your field, oh, maybe I maybe I waited a bit too long. Oh, it doesn't work on face up cards. Oh no, it doesn't. What do I place? I pe Oh, does he have to go there? Uh-oh. That's not an issue, right? He can't attack it? Can he attack it? I don't know if he can. I've done it wrong. It is unaffected by card effects except Destiny Board and cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Okay, that's okay. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, toss a coin. If the result is heads, negate the attack. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the current attack of that opponent's monster. Okay. Cool. They didn't want to attack. I don't blame them. Dark Spirit, when your opponent activates card or effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Target one level eight fiend. I need a fiend monster. Um, normal summon. Tour guide. Tour guide's effects. Let's special summon. This thing? It didn't really matter, but... 
I guess it's Sangern. Any of you guys destroy stuff? You. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Special summons. Wait. Uh, do I have to win before this happens? Is there a dark monster in my opponent's graveyard? There is. You can use spirit messages as monsters. Oh no, what a misplay. I've whiffed. Um, I was supposed to use this. Oh no. I'm throwing so bad. I could sacrifice. I'm sorry, spirit message I. My wing con. No. I don't know what the, the big monster is. What can I make? That's it? I could just keep making Dark the Dark Charmers? Oh my god. I'm absolutely going to lose this duel. Bruh. Do I have a second Spirit Message Eye? You're going to go eat? Weetard, catch you later. Nice to have you here. Oh my god. Let me look at the extra deck. Almirage. Cherubini, monster this card points. If this card, if this card would be destroyed, by so my level three monster. Okay. Okay, literally, it's Ghost Trick Alucard. Oh, this extra deck is trash. Is there no like Link Four Dark Fiend monsters? I was going for it. Come on, coin flip, heads. Oh well. I'm taking um tour guide back. F I N. Your word is final. Deck is bad on purpose. They really want me to not go for a standard victory here. Um I don't have any spirit messages. It's not fair. Is there literally nothing in the deck that can save me? Uh, if I level 8 Fiend Monster... Oh, God. How much attack do you have? 18, 18. Uh, what's the damage? You can detach one material with a special summon a phantom token. Why well, control a phantom token? Your opponent can't attack this card for attacks. This card gains 500 attack for each phantom token you control. So what I can gain... It won't be enough, though. Maybe I can make two of them. Number 80, 48, Shadow Lich. Once per turn during your opponent's turn. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, end phase. Uh. Okay, I feel like Yugi, you, I'm pretty sure Bakura got F-I-N-A-L, uh, F-I-N-A out, but then like they did something to block this up. I got, oh. Oh, we destroyed Fiend Sanctuary, so he can put them in the monster zones anymore. One all in a row. First try with this deck. Oh, happy for you. Shadow Lich. Detach that. Summon token. 2300 attack. I need to wait another turn. Oh, look. A spirit message. Dead in my hand. Ah. I don't know what to do, Captain. I can make another one, but that's going to do nothing for me. Can't you destroy face-ups? Monsters your opponent controls cannot target face-up ghost strip monsters control. Detach one material from this card, target one set card your opponent controls, destroy that target. <sighs> Cherubini, monsters this card points to... If this card will be destroyed by battle or card effects, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard instead. You can send one level three monster from your deck to the graveyard, then target one burning abyss monster on the field. Gains attack and defense equal to the 
Oh my god. Did I miss the pack opening? No, you haven't missed it. Wait, it's only one pack, isn't it? Uh, on this. Uh, this is kind of cool that they all get boosted. That's my wink on, then, it looks like. End phase. Oh, no, I've lost! Wait, do I lose at the start of his turn or the... Oh, I lose now. No! He didn't even... He didn't write it in order. F-I-A-N-L. Fianel? What does that even mean? <sighs> well done. Fianel. Fianel. Let's try again. <laughs> we started with the H2O. Uh-oh. I don't have any water with me right now. Uh, my bottle is at the bottom of the stairs because I plan to wash it, but I forgot about it. So I'll I'll have some juicy, juicy coffee instead. We Tard, thank you very much for the H2O. I mean, the there's water in this, technically. Mmm. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, come on. Space Psycat, thank you for the coffee as well. There's like, the, there's a sliver left. All right, we're out of coffee. Thank you. This is the second person. Why have I got the trash ants? Dark Sacrifice. When your opponent activates card or effect, I would destroy a card on the field, negate that effect, and send one level three or lower dark monster from your deck to the graveyard. Spooky. Just one with Exodia, the Forbidden One. Bop, bop, bop. What did he add? Oh, he added Destiny Board. Shadow Lich. Okay, I now know that's my win condition without the Destiny Board. All the decks from back or removal. So I guess this is my best chance to get it. At the same time, it's also my worst. Now, that's going to have 2300 attack. So I've got to deal with that. Destiny board, A. Eh? Plunder best deck. Gar. <laughs> we bought aboard him again. Now please don't. I'm doing the same. Shadow Lich for me too. Can Dark Sacrifice negate Destiny Board's effect, you reckon? Just summon Exodia. Uh, F.I. That's a creepy looking card. Just saying. Dark Sanctuary. I'm just going to use it now. Why not? Actually, no, I should have waited. While you control a phantom token, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. Oh, okay, so he has to attack this first. Kind of cool. My opponent's opening all the better cards. <laughs> it's not fair. Ah, uh, original Dark Necrophere. Very cool. If I was him, I would make another number 48 Shadow Lich. Then he'd have all the power. Seeing your hands, I feel like you've got very lucky hands. <laughs> I went for Cherubini instead. Okay. Godzilla, how's it going? Hey ho.
Uh, you can send one fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon this card in face down defense. Okay, this card is sent from the hand or deck to the grave. Oh, so I'll I'll send Toddler of Torment with Dark Sacrifice if we ever get to use its effect. Does he even have anything that destroys? Oh no, yeah, kind of does. Has to attack this. Now he can tap this. Now he can tap me directly. When we'll get the new rank season? Uh, in a couple hours. Um, next rank season starts... Uh, to, well, tomorrow on the 1st. Six hours, there you go. Well, nice, we got something. Dark Spirit Mastery. Let's send a Dark Malice Spirit to the grave. Watch my opponent's attack grow even stronger. At least we can attack these, uh, these little things. I mean, what do I even take? Destiny board. Free banished fiend monsters. How do I get free banished fiend monsters? You can target three of your banished fiend monsters, special miscard from your hand. How do I even get that out? Necrofear and Crash? Which one? You banish with OG Necrofear? Oh, okay. So I'll take Dark Necrofear. I'll summon... Oh, wait. How do you summon it? Can I be normal summon to set? This card... Oh, okay. I didn't realize how you use this card. I thought it was completely different. I thought you had to get it in the graveyard to get it out. My bad. <laughs> Was Bakura about to defeat Yugi? Uh, I've done that video, haven't I? Yes, I have. Uh... So super lost. Oh my god, forgot about this. Woohoo! I believe! Oh, I could have done this. I'm an idiot. I should have attacked, attacked, and then destroyed that. I mean, I guess it's fine. Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Woohoo! Could have destroyed that. Never mind. Finn, in defense. He can use that for summons. Godzilla, what's with the 50-50, all the question marks and stuff? And the sad face. Anston, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, lost three 50-50s in a row. Oh, I see what you mean now. My opponent is destroying something. I will activate Dark Sacrifice. 
Finally, got to use it. I, it doesn't even destroy. Okay, I'll send my terrifying toddler. Terrifying toddler should special summon itself. Nice. All right, we're going to crash. No. My last tour guide. King of the Pirates, how's it going? It's the name of the treasure in the grand line. Gayo, gayo. Uh-oh. I can send this. No. So there's no point in me sending that to the grave. Literally no point at all. Ugh. Does Sangan even work like that? No, it doesn't. Well, you know. Dead draw. You can banish this card from your graveyard, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Place any number of Destiny Board and or Spirit Message cards with different names from your hand or graveyard on the bottom of your deck in any order. Then draw the same as cards. Oh, that's a cool ability. That fixes the, the dead draws. That's kind of sweet. Um, Sure, I'll do that. I just take this out. We've lost. It's as clear as day. Can we keep winning the coin flips? Woohoo! <laughs> Luck is on my side. Or is it? It's still on my side. Cool. One of your monsters special summons a level 8 fiend. I see. He just got rid of one of his better monsters. That's weird. <laughs> Man, I should start gambling. What is this? Incredible. Six out of six is pretty nuts. Clearly. Uh, its effect won't work because of Sangan's effect. Right, I'm still in that Dart the Dart Charmer. Dart the Dart Charmer. Dart Necrofear, sorry. Because it'll special summon itself back from the grave, right? End phase. My Dark Necrofear's effect works. Ooh. <gasps> ah! 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 Does it work? No, why not? Wait, is that not how it works? Let me read it. I thought it was going to come to my side of the field. Uh, target one face of monster opponent controls. Equip this card to that target while this card is equipped to a monster by that effect that take control of that monster. I can't take it! And affected by card effects. Is that what it says? Ah! Oh, I thought I was so clever. I was going to take spirit message end for myself. I should have took this now. Whoops. I mean, we're losing anyway. I mean... Are we losing anyway? I don't know. How much damage do we need to do? 4,000 damage in this final turn. Is it possible? Can it be done? I can't use Pot of Prosperity if I do. Dark Sanctuary, nice. Activate Dark the Dark Charmer's effect. Are you the strongest monster? 1800. Yes, you are. Oh, 
not going to be enough, is it? Uh, 1,800 attack. Oh, God, this is where the coin flips let me down. No! In the final hour. Oh, I could have won. If that attack would have gone through and, like, I would have won all the other coin flips. Oh. Dark Necrofear. Hey, listen. I can't really complain about the amount of coin flips we've... Uh... <laughs> Do I have a secret Harpy's Feather Duster that I don't know about? Any card that can save my life? No. 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 It's a game. If you'd have chose the monster earlier with this... Yeah, you're right. I could have won this duel. It's my own fault. Well done! Two spirit messages in a row. Ah! Bum, 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 bum. Good comeback at least. True. Um, I'm starting to learn the Necrophere stuff a little bit better now as well. So I know I, I, I couldn't figure out how to get out the, the, the upgraded Necrophere. But I see now you use your other monsters to you chuck it in the graveyard if you can, which is actually kind of tough to do. I, it's quite it's not a greatly built deck, is it? Was Bakora about to beat TGS anyway? Well, but he's beat me twice in a best of three anyway. Oh, is this another Dark Necrophere deck? No, and I'm going second again. Ah, why is everyone playing the Destiny board one? I want to play Exodia. Okay, their first move should be to get out the... The... This one, number 48. Okay, they didn't. Sangan's effect, though. You won all three of Exodia. It's from the Reptile deck. Didn't get to summon Venominaga, though. Well, we're going to have to do that today, hopefully. Just papers from the Destiny of the board, clearly. All right, opponent set up. Had a big bu boost. Is that permanent boost? Until the end of the turn, that's fine. Why is everyone got Dark Spirit Mastery straight away? To be fair, we've got Silence of Doom. Oh, but we don't have Destiny board. Ah. Big draw. In the deck. Can this put Destiny board on the field? Oh, it can. Okay. I think. Field spell. Set trap. Dark Spirit of Banishment. Oh, it can't. You can target any number of your fiend monsters that are banished or in your graveyard up to the number of destiny board and or spirit message cards you control and add them to your hand. You can send this card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard to place a spirit message card from your hand or deck or graveyard in your spell and trap zone. So no, you can't put Fingy on. Uh. We're going to rely on Dark Sanctuary now. Alucard. Haha, I have no face down. What you going to do? Is he going to risk 1800 life points just to destroy my little old Dark Spirit of Banishment? No. No, they're not. Nice! 
What do I take? Destiny board? Probably Destiny board, right? Terrifying thingy. Destiny board. I gotta go on the offensive. Eighteen fifty attack. Okay. We need modern support for Necrophere. I think we have modern support for Necrophere. It's just not enough. Uh, tour guide next turn. Alright, this is looking good now. Battle. Attack with 1850. We'll steal this next turn if we can. Attack directly. Alright. We're looking good. Does it matter if I just do this now? I guess not. Okay, we can speed this process up. It's fine. Right, my opponent's on FI. Place the L? Why place the L? You have to place them backwards with sentence. Why? Because it'll interrupt it? That's weird. Uh, I'm going to take this now because I know he can't deal with it. Destiny board has to place them in order, so this has to be the last letter of... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I comprende. Eh? Thank you for telling me that, by the way, because I would have had no clue. What are your thoughts on the new ban list? Uh, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, runic hit, Good. Uh, field spell went to two. The searcher went to two as well, I think. Good hits. I'm happy with that. Runic's still annoying. Floodgate skin in hit. Good. We don't like too many floodgates, and we especially don't like floodgate-based decks. That's very good. Um, Flawanderies map to one. Kind of a weird thing. They didn't feel particularly overpowered or anything at the moment. But... Um, I don't particularly like how long Flawandry's turns takes, and the field spell does that a lot, so I'm like kind of okay with it. Wait, I have to put it here? I can open the back row. Uh, what else got here? I can't remember. I know that I wasn't happy that Snow didn't get hit, and that, personally for me, I wanted that uh, random card getting hit as well. Um, smoke Grenade. So, I think overall, it was it was a fine ban list, but it wasn't great. Maybe more stuff will get hit when Tillaments, like, actually come out, but who knows. Come on, heads. Nice. 2800 damage right back at you. Oh, sorry, 14, 14, 14. Yo, luck is on my side. I'm just saying. <laughs> Please don't scoop. I really want to get this Destiny board win. How does Bakora talk? Oh, no. I probably It just probably shouldn't special summon, right? Necroface got hit. Yeah, Necroface going to two helped a bit, I guess. Say no to special summon. Yes. I want your 1800 attack monster. Where is it? There it is. Oh, no. Did I want that? Sure. 
Shadow Lynch. That is our Charmer. I am running out of space. I'm definitely going a bit over the top, but I know my opponent doesn't really have any destruction cards. Might as well. Probably shouldn't have gone for Sangam. Oh well. I've run out of so much space. Whoops. End phase. Cool. Sorry, Sam, got a phone call. No worries. Welcome back. You got Bakura's accent already? I'm Bakura. I'm Bakura. Bakura. No, wait, how does Bakura talk? Hello, Yu Yi. My dark necrophere. That's it. My dark necrophere and cursed necrophere. I play my destiny board. The word you're spelling is final. My dark sanctuary. So that's this kind of right, right? Just speak normally, Sam. He's British. Oh, uh, hello, Yugi. <laughs> Why did my opponent throw his dark necrophere away? Why did he do that? Man, I could have had huge monsters if I put these in the back row. My plan was to put that there and that there. Kind of silly of me. Is it only on-screen winners against Bones? Is that true? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. My opponent's on Finn. I'm on feet, Phil. Who wins first? Who, who... Who wins first? He ends his turn. I get a letter. I end my turn. He gets... A. He ends his turn. I, oh, okay. I win. I win. I like how Don, Donald Trump would say huge plans. I have huge plans. <laughs> I can't do it. Why take the risk? Think of your life points. Mad lad. Have to attack this. Just for a token? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Whammies. I guess we can wait till the declaration of the attack. Big boost. Unless he attacks this, of course. Oh no, the number of monsters on the field will change. And then he'll have to attack this. Wait, actually, I don't know how that'll work. Woohoo! Regardless. This guy does not like his life points. Just saying. Thanks to my destiny board, I get another letter. Spirit message N. Finnell. Bum, bum, bum. Oh no, we're not going to win with final. Please stop me. No. Ow. Not like. Oh, that's just poor form. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Even let me get the attack win. All right, cool. Okay, we won with um, condemned thinking with battle. So we need to do that again. But we need to actually win with uh, Spirit Messages. Oh my god, I'm playing with this. Maharaji! <sighs> okay. I mean, it looks better than the Destiny Board one, at least. What's final? I don't know, final. <laughs> uh, I'd like to go first.
The Exodia Mirror is per pure hell. Well, all we seem to be playing is Destiny, so... Right. RPG, role-playing game. I'll start by playing Upstart Goblin. Oh, nice! We're one-fifth of the way there. I'll set... Okay, you did say someone has uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, but what are the chances, right? End phase. What's my extra deck? Amphibious what? Deep Sea what? Entis, I know that card. Fossil Machine Skull Diner? Fossil Warrior Skull Kraken? Skull Knight, Skull Knight, sorry. Mmm. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. It's a long grind game. Ugh. I'm going to let him attack. I'm going to defense draw. And then I'm going to dig up destiny. Imagine how good Yugi was. He drew all Exodia pieces without draw engines. Insane. As if they get modern cards. Like this modern. Ogdoedic. If they get mezzaline out, it's pretty much GG. That does not sound good. But I have one piece of Exodia right here. Look at this. What could go wrong? I kind of want him to attack me directly, but I assume they'll go for extra deck stuff. I'll stock Vatican Punishment. I'll do it now. Entis. Obliterate bounces. Yeah. Oh, do they all have like graveyard effects? Uh oh. That one got banished. Ah! We're two in. Why did I draw? Was it? Oh, it was his effect. Your opponent draws a card, and if they do, add one. Okay, we're two pieces away. We're doing it, chap. Okay, we've got Exodia thingy though. I think we're fine. Uh, you can target one monster on the field. Send one forbidden one monster or Exodia monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. If you do, return that target to the hand. This card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard. You can target one forbidden one monster or Exodia card in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Exodia obliterate the 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 monster. He'll he'll do it for me, right? Surely. Oh dear, oh dear. What if you drew Regeki? Yeah, Adrian Gecko did have um, Exodia, but he played uh, Exodia, um, Exodius deck. So you took him in the graveyard to get extra attack points. I think. Yo, phenomenon. Let's uh, let's get that the hell hell out of here. Can we also send a special summon from your hand by tributing one forbidden one monster and cannot be special summon other ways? And uh -huh. when this card is destroyed by battle, uh, we'll send that. Two pieces of Exodia in the grave. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It is. God, I can't wait to play with Venoms, clearly. 
So literally, we're just going to stall. That's the name of the game. We need more digs of destiny in the grave. Activate only if your opponent controls a face-up spirit monster. Draw two cards. What? What a weird effect. Is it meant to be like an anti Yatagarasu card? Obliterate and the other Exodia monster is the only way to get the Exodia pieces back. Okay. Oh, nice. Reckless Greed. Target one monster on the field. Send a forbidden one to the graveyard. If you do, return that target to the hand. Oh, that's Tuna. I probably should have bounced that. Okay, it's fine. First attack. No. I want to use Defense Draw. Yes. Defense Draw. Maharaji. Not sure how that's going to help me, but we'll find out. Dig a destiny. Another draw. Obliterate. How much attack do you have? 12. Send the leg. Random spirit monster and a creature swap, maybe? I guess so. If you use two Reckless Greeds, I think, you only skip two draws instead of four. Like, at the same time kind of thing. Adir to two, when? They'll probably put it back up. Oh, we actually have some anti uh Oh, we got some like replenishment and stuff. That's kinda cool. I'll send that for now. What's that back row gonna do to me? Surely. The card I drew is Exodia. Yo, creature swap. Should I put the right arm in the grave? Or shall I not? Oh, we have a creature swap. So I, oh, I guess we have a spirit monster then. Uh, I guess I don't care about creature swap. As good of a card as it is. In fact, that might be the best card I could, probably could have had. Keep the arm. Okay. I think mean, that's my only way of getting incarnate out. I'm just trying to thin the deck as much as possible. It's so hard. Cool. Battle. I swear if I win with damage, I'm not going to be very happy. How many turns? We're in five. Okay, it's not too bad. You could have sent Incarnate and used Nadia to send Entis, then pop Obliterate to get and got out Incarnate. If this card is sent from the Spell and Trap Zone to the graveyard, you can target one Forbidden One Monster or Exodia card from your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Oh my god, you're right. Ooh. Should I get all of the... Oh, we can still... We've got one more um, Entis, I think. No, we don't. That was... Oh, no, no, yeah, we've got one more. Can I destroy a card on my side of the field? 
One card in the field and destroy it, yeah. That's interesting plan. Uh, we'll see if we draw it with uh, Ruckus Greed first. Right, it's four pieces in the grave, one in my hand. What could go wrong? Use wait after your. Uh, okay. I can do that. One more extra draw. Another reckless. Another, another Reckless. There's four cards I get to draw. Yo, card, card D, sick. Start. Sit behind back background and just laugh. Uh, I guess we use Card Card D next. So I need to send Exodia Incarnate, whatever its name is, to the graveyard. Activate Dogmatic of Punishment. Pop my card with Entis. Add back Incarnate, my turn, summon right arm, special summon Incarnate. And hopefully win that way. <laughs> this feels like OG Yu-Gi-Oh. It's kind of cool, but slow. Don't send and pop in the same turn. Why? What's the problem with that? Dugares? It's timing. Yeah, it doesn't resolve. Oh, okay. So I'll do obliterate now. Battle phase. My opponent is definitely going to scoop in a bit because I've probably been annoying the crap out of them. He just wants to play. Okay, there you go. Exodia in the grave. Legendary. I missed my draw phase. However, we can Reckless again. And we can Yatter. And draw three. Ipu, thank you for the follow. Dig of Destiny, get two cards. Another card, card D. Set Dig of Destiny. Set Legacy of Yatter's Garasu. Set another this. Normal summon Maharaji. Time switch summons. Battle. Combat around monster too. Kind of cool. Limit reverse. Take one monster with 1,000 or less attack in your graveyard. Special summon in a tap position. If the target card changes defense. Okay. Yo, Venomanaga. Nice. Okay, this is where I ruined my opponent's day. Continue attack. Yes. Activate Dogmatica Punishment. Hopefully this doesn't miss any timings or anything like that. It's exactly enough that I can send an Entis. I can use Entis' effect. Pop Obliterate. No! No! When I face up Venomonaga, the king opponent's face to destroy special summon of Venomonaga. Uh-oh. Okay. 
This will be interesting. They have their wing con out. If they attack me three times, I'm poisoned to death. No. Wing phase two. To defense. End phase. Rut row indeed. Now, what do you do again? Oh, it has to go back to my hand? Wait, what, what's the effect? Oh, yeah, spirit monsters always return to the hand, don't they? Incarnate's going to be huge, though. I hope so. Yo, defense draw. Do I have to successfully attack or just, just attack? Oh, it has to inflict battle damage. Okay, his monster's pretty huge as well. I don't think I have anything with uh, 4k in my extra deck. Uh-oh. Bruh. Inspiring attack for each reptile in your graveyard. I have a player can target this card with card effects. Also, it's unaffected by other cards and their effects. Uh-oh. He's getting stronger. <laughs> That's not good. It's unaffected anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like one of the first ever, like... Towers monsters, isn't it? Just damage block. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, plus, he can't be these. This can't be destroyed in battle. It's kind of nice. Oh my god! Uh, am I super dead? I think I'm dead because. Oh no! It's 2,000. No, no, it's five. No, I think we're okay. That's not enough. I'm just going to use this now. See how I can destroy. I'm going to send, I don't know, uh, this one. I don't know if it does anything. Have I lost? Oh, no. I thought it wasn't destroyed. Oh no, it's not destroyed by extra deck monsters. No! Do I have a Karibo? Anything? Ah, uh, all that stalling for what? For nothing! That's ridiculous. This monster got huge! I should have played more defensively, clearly. Oh god, I gotta go for all that again. Are you kidding me? That took forever. Ah, killed by snacks. I was. I need my jelly to make me happy again. Death by Ekans. Cha back. Fun fact, Ekans backwards is snake. And Arbok is cobra. He won by damage. What a loser. I know, right? It's all about special victories. Summon Maharaji. Wait. Summon Maharaji. Take control of their monster. Maharaji goes back to my hand? Question mark. Hi, Coda. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I watched um, the, the interview videos on your channel the other day. It was really good. Really well edited. Thank you. Thank you for letting me feature. <laughs> Your muck backwards is? Oh my god. Killed the edit. Absolutely. Right, I get one turn of Maharaji. This is the mirror? It is the mirror. Okay. Get a Garasu. Not good. <laughs> Code again around. It's nice to say hello. I appreciate it. Uh, I guess we just go on the defensive, right? See, I'm a lurker, I am. I, I just sit in the darkness and <laughs> just watch. Sets. 
that set. Do we need two obliterate on the field? Probably not, right? End there. He probably has four pieces already. I hope not. I wonder if anyone's got like an instant win yet with this event. First time I've seen like a of Yatta draw two. Is that what just happened? Oh, it's designed for the mirror match then. <laughs> Estan, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. So my opponent knows I'm playing this, so they just won't attack me, right? You can creature swap and get two draws. It's true. No, why are you getting all the card card Ds? If this card is normal summon or flip place up, look at the, look at one card on the top of your deck during the next draw phase and return this card to the top or bottom of the deck. Um do I want my Exodia piece now? I guess I want one piece. No, stop it! <laughs> he keeps getting the draws. I'm attacking, I don't care. He'll never draw all five pieces of Exodia. That's impossible. No one's been able to summon that card. Yes. Watch as your life points dwindle to zero. No, not Digger Destiny again. Oh, yo, he's drawing so many cards. Do I want to send another piece to the graveyard? I guess not yet. That's why you don't normal summon the spirit monster. Mm. <laughs> Draw your last pathetic card, Camp Brock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards. What more can this man do? Ah, he drew too many cards. Your greed got to you. Oh, no, he gets to keep one. Seven. Attack me. I want a destiny draw. You might beat win by beatdown. Maybe. The Maharaji beatdown. That's what we do here. Ah, okay, okay. We're going to let them attack. Yeah. S summon your Ecclesia. Ecclesia? No, wait. What's his name? It is Ecclesia, but... Oh, no. My D-draw. My sweet boy. It's fine. Take your... Uh, your punishment. Oh, it is a class here. Sorry. Hoi hoi. No attack? Are you kidding me? What's so selfish? The man has learned the way of the mirror match. We're getting punished anyway. You think? You think because he's got half my hair? Uh... Oh, he's throwing his monsters away? No. Do I want Ecclesia? No. Bottom of deck. I want something different. Another Maharaji? Oh, I didn't want that. Oh, no. I should have taken the Ecclesia because I could have got the, uh, the whatever it's called. Never mind. <laughs> He's got a 
Oh, oh like he's drawing. I'm going to get exodiated. I'm going to get obliterated. One million percent. 19 cars. That's my favorite number. That's my favorite number ever. I have one football top and it has number 19 on the back. He has three or four parts. Battle. Attack. Oh my god. I couldn't draw three cards. I thought um, you get to draw one for everyone you have in your grave. I'll read it properly in a sec. Just don't attack. No, I need to attack. I need to do damage. Ah, I see you too play Obliterate. This is like when I duel the AI on Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force. <laughs> he threw a piece away. What could he be planning? What is this madman up to? Hmm? Maybe I can steal his... Um... Thingy. He's already incarnate. He's going to go for Incarnate now, and I will steal. But he probably has a steal, uh, Creature Swap as well. Oh, imagine having, like, Pot of Avarice in this as well. No, that adds it back to the deck, actually. Ignore that. Uh, incarnate is unaffected by card effects. <laughs> okay. That's not great. Can't steal Incarnate. Hoi hoi. Normal summon Maharaji steal it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run. <laughs> Panic eats jelly. It's only 2k attack though. Can I try to use Obliterate against it and then just use its uh, latter effect? No, it's just completely unaffected. I can't even attempt to use it. Oh, I can, I can, I can. I know it doesn't work. I just want to put stuff in the grave. God, I wish I took Ecclesia now. Okay, they've got one piece left in their deck, uh, in their graveyard. I think on their next turn they win. And you can't be destroyed by battle, right? Oh no, it can be destroyed by battle. Uh, do you want to take an upstart? Sure. Actually, no. I, what was the point of taking that? I can just put something else. Fin the deck. Fin the deck. Believe in the heart of the card, Sam. I'm believing. I'm believing as hard as I can. Some of this. Maharaji. I have four, three in the graveyard, one in the hand, and my boss monster, this one, in the deck somewhere. How are there no animations for these Exodia monsters as well? Creature swap him? I would love to. I really would. Unaffected by other card effects. Can't do it. Oh no, it'll just bounce me, right? No wait, he's got nothing left in his deck to obliterate, question mark? Or can he go from the hand as well? Oh, he can go from the hand. That'll slow him down though. No win for you. I don't think. When you take battle damage, draw one card. If this card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can draw cards Oh, that's how you get multiple draws if it's destroyed.
He had one in deck. No, he sent one from the hand. So that I wouldn't destroy his monster. Oh, no, that was from deck? Oh, yeah, he did. Sorry, yeah, you're right. That was from deck. So we didn't slow him down at all. Sam, you would have won if you just didn't summon anything. Probably. You're probably right. Um, okay. Should we just give up on trying to hard draw Exodia Reincarnate? It looks like it's not going to happen, right? No, you can draw two cards. Go on. Yep. If you can destroy, you can probably win. He's only got a thousand attacking again. Maharaji, attempt to. He'll have to obliterate. He's stuck in a loop if he keeps obliterating the monster I try to attack with. He had a creature swap. He had two creature swap. He had three creature swap. <laughs> uh, Reckless Greed. Mm, put it on the bottom. I'll take something else. Incarnate. Good enough. Just stall. I'm stalling as hard as I can. Oh, wait a minute. I'll send Entis. I haven't done this wrong, have I? To get this. Entis's effect. Destroy obliterate. That's fine. Oh no, my obliterate's been destroyed, however. Wait a minute. I forgot to send it to the grave. I was supposed to send it to the grave. Oh. It's fine, I'm sure. We'll get a second chance to it. It's fine. Because we'll summon this. It's fine, it's fine. We've got two pieces in our hand. We're, 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 I'm throwing. I'm throwing so badly. We've got another obliterate. Surely it's fine. Now I'll bounce this back to my hand, I think. But he can't win on his next turn if he does. Two hands in your hand. Oh, I was dead. Nice. Uh, creature swap don't work on it. It's unaffected by card effects. How did he get that back? This one in the grave. Wait, what? Oh, wait. No, no, he's revealed. Oh. I thought that was the reveal when they do the win animation. That scared the living crap out of me then. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, no, there's one in the graveyard. That's not fair. So how does he win now? And then this one just be a silly little bait. End phase. He has a punishment to get his last card back. Oh no. Oh, yeah, you're right. He'll destroy his own obliterate. You're absolutely right. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> He's a better Exodia player than me. Go on, then. No one's ever been able to summon Exodia. Blah, blah, blah. This is impossible. It's not impossible. He just did it. So what? Just don't summon against them? <sighs> ah! You played the mirror really badly for the content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, I want to lose against all the decks first. <laughs> Why not? After 30 years, someone did it. Send me down to throw for us. It's fine. I'm trying. I'm really trying.
All right, anything but Exodia Mirror. Can I go first? I am going first. Nice. Normal summon card, card D. Set that. Activate this. Draw two new cards. All right, we're one fifth of the way there. You can use Obliterate to bounce your own monster. So punishment can fizzle. That is a good fun fact. Thank you so much. That. Oh. E. Ooh. That's Exodia Mirror Match right there. I can tell. So what do we do? We just don't do anything, right? We just set. Set. And end phase. <laughs> oh, God, really? To the sprint monster three times. Surely he doesn't have another one, Sam said, after the opponent draws four cards. That's a lot of back row. Yadagrasu. My opponent hasn't summoned uh, a spirit monster. So I'll just simply draw one card. Oh, nice. Another one. I wouldn't set those defense draws anymore. That is a very good point. Uh, I'll just leave that there. End phase. Everyone and then Nan trying to play Exodia. <laughs> gimmick puppet, gimmick puppet instead of Exodia. Is that the one with um the Leo one, or is that a different one? <gasps> yes. The fool! He summoned a spirit monster! Only a fool would do that against the mirror match. This lets me draw two new cards. <laughs> mm -hmm -hmm. No attack though. Right, let's just not do what they did. We've learned our lesson. Yes! I finally got it early! Um, as life points. We need our bounce card. We need to start summoning monsters, bouncing them. Both draw a card. How does it feel to be on the other side, Sam? Feels good. Real good. Hmm. End phase. No one needs two Ecclesia. Should I send? No, I need to keep one of the uh, Exodia pieces in my hand. Special summon. Imagine if Ash was in this. <laughs> to be fair, we draw a lot. So, like, there's a lot of different things they could, Ash. All right, I've run out of food. I've run out of coffee. I've run out of my Kit Kat. We're good. Yeah, no spirit monster for you. I'm stuck goblins. Thousand life points for me. A troll. The dear servant. Nice. If you summon it class here, you can use it to mill out the Dogmatica trap. I'll do that then. I mean, there's no problem with me having a monster on the field, I guess. For a little bit, anyway. Normal summon. Class here. Seven Cat, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Oh, imagine if he destroys my Digger Destiny, even though I've only got one on the field. Never mind. Still got my ad, though. All I want is this. That's fine. Thin the deck. What deck are we playing? Exodia. Obliterate, hopefully, at some point. No, not my defense draw. Never mind. In face.
Yada Grassu. Final countdown deck. I mean, we're getting up in those numbers. Turn 10. Could have done final countdown. Final countdown's annoying, though. It's just pure stall. Oh, no, my set spells and traps. Ah, that's fine. I draw two new cards. Two obliterates. Nice. How many more Yatagras has he got? One, two. He's got one more left. We can summon a Maharaji. Oh, dig a destiny means I have to take damage first. I forgot about that. We'll never take damage. No draw for me. Set you. Uh, it'll be returned to the thingy, so we have to wait another turn. So I'll just end my turn there. Like the Exodia was in a stall deck. No. No, of course not. Can't you see how aggressive I'm being? Hope it's not breaking a lot. Oh, this isn't the new deck for the month, by the way. <laughs> Could you, a whole month for this? Oh my god. He's getting all the card card Ds. Oh, let's be fair, we're about the same in uh, deck. Ooh, done thousand deck. What Numeronius? That should be that'd be slapping everyone with Numerons. Obliterate face up on the field, please. What is that next to your name? Oh, by Jay Starks. Uh, it's a moment thing. Um, one of the mods did it. So, like, you can have moments in streams now. And then if you were involved... Say, like... Say I lost a bet with chat and I did a backflip and I fell over and got whisked off to hospital and stuff. Uh, one of the mods could save that as a moment. And then if you've got the moment badge, it means that you were there. You witnessed me trying to do a backflip live on stream and uh, nearly snapped my neck. And you could be proud of that. I guess that's what it's for. I have only just found out about it. <laughs> okay, cool. And face. That would be very funny. I think if you click on the actual moment badge, I think it takes you to something. Oh my god, I've just broke my stream by clicking on it. Ah! It's trying to save stuff. No! Don't do it. It's not worth it. Is this a mirror match? It is. So you get the zero turn kill. If Honestly, if I did, drew all five pieces of Exodia in on my first turn, um, yes. I would absolutely do that. I don't even know how to create moments. How do I create moments? Clip that. Oh, make it a moment. Clip special moments on stream and recognize viewers that were there for a commem commemorative badge. They got to add that. Do I have it? Okay. I'm allowed to have five moments at max. No card card D for you. <laughs> I can start drawing again now. Call my dad at Konami real quick. Maharaji, no, put that on the bottom of the deck. You want that trash? Ew, it's kind of nice. Okay, we want to set that face down. And we want to set this face down. And we want to normal summon this. Do they get to send Entis if I... Take it off the field. I don't think they do. Only one more piece left. Nice. We dodged it. Good play, Sam. Thank you, Sam. It's embarrassing. 
By the way, fair play to these opponents that are really, like, sticking with the duels. No one's scooped yet for, like, no reason. Except for that one guy that scooped just before he was about to do the, the winning blow. Wasn't that fine? Okay, we do one more obliterate if he tries to summon card card D again. We send the last piece of Exodia. Cool. So we obliterate one last time. We bounce that back to your hand. Okay, graveyard's full. We... Oh no, wait, that's a problem. Because now we can't Dogmatica Punishment. Hmm. Bottom. I want something different. Okay, Reckless Greed would have been better. Uh, wait. Oh, no, wait. I. What am I talking... What am I talking about? I've already got... Um oh, no, no. There's one more piece left. We'll be fine. What could go wrong? <laughs> it's that big Exodia. It's a chunky boy. Uh, can he defense draw? I'm going to say no. Exodia obliterates. <laughs> the biggest of boys. Fair enough. Okay, he's going <laughs> to fight everything now. That's fine. No worries, no worries, no whammies. Do I, ha I have to add Exodia pieces back, right? There's no, like, if, but, or coconuts. Okay, I'm going to click no, see what happens. Oh, no, you can say no. No, you can't say no. No, you can't say no. <laughs> you have to become weaker. Wait, when did I put that in the grave? I don't remember putting that last piece of Exodia in. I have gone crazy in the brain. I'm using the Destiny board yet. That was the first one that we used. My goodness. Like two turns ago. I don't remember. I really don't remember. Now, my end phase is or any end phase. My end phase. It's going to take a little while longer. I mean, we, I think we're just going to win, aren't we? Attack directly for game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blow up this as well. We'll get another one back. That'll speed things up. Blow up another one. How close is he to getting all the pieces? I don't know. I really want to win with Exodia rather than an Incarnate. But. All right. Two pieces. And then if we get attacked, we just lose, right? Oh, maybe I should have just gone for this game. Some of Venominaga. That's our next one. Yes, good, good draw. Oh, I can't not go for the win with this. I assume, I assume he's got a destiny draw and he'll be able to negate it, but I might as well do it. It'd be weird if I didn't go for game. Battle. Legendary Exodia attack. One day of peace. Good point. Thank goodness. I'm gl really glad I haven't won. End phase. Incarnate's effect activates. I get another piece of Exodia. All right, I got two two legs left. All I need to do is keep literally. If I can keep my monster alive, I think I think we win.
We are close. Please don't scoop. Dot, dot, dot. Does this need to be face up on the field? No. Would it be nuts if he got Exodia first? Uh, yes, it would be nuts. Send a second Entis. I know there's the, the card that can destroy back row, but I might as well go for this. Obliterates effect. I add right leg. Left leg, left leg, left leg. All I need to do is end my turn away and we win. That's fine. Please don't scoop. Please don't scoop. Let me get the animation. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think he's had them set the entire door, hasn't he? Imagine if he Exodia's me now. Imagine if he gets them all. How many cards has he got left? He's got seven cards. It, I mean, it's possible. Yep. Yep. Come on. Uh, he's technically ahead in terms of tearing through his deck. It's been a 20 turn duel. It's the slowest Yu-Gi-Oh ever. He must be bad on seven cards. It should tell you at the end. Like, your opponent was two cards away from getting the last piece of Exodia. Okay. My turn, end turn, win. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So do you able to throw it? Okay. Use the effect was selected. It doesn't work. My cards are affected by all card effects. Come on. So do you, oh, he's missing the head. Ah. If you activate the final countdown, you would have won by now. Oh my god. What if it's... That last piece in his graveyard is all he needs. He could win. He could ruin my entire day right now if he destroys that obliterate, maybe. Please don't win! Wait! I whiffed! He whiffed! No! Why didn't he just let me end my turn? That's the most selfish thing I've ever seen in my life. He did it wrong. God! Made me go through 20 turns. Wouldn't even let me get the animation. God. Phenomenaga deck then. I'm so annoyed by that. So. He got that. He did it wrong because he chained everything together. Like you told me. You said if you chained cards to that, he wouldn't be able to add the card or something. He missed the timing. So he did what I didn't do. I played this exact guy on Ranked earlier today. I remember this this name. How weird is that? It's a small world then. Viper Gecko and Bakora. It's not really Gecko because Gecko plays um, Exodius. Right, this is something I have no idea how to play this deck. Okay, we need to get Venomon on the King of... Now, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to play this. Um... The crocodile-looking thing. Crocodile-looking thing's effect. It's 
send that. Oh, it comes to my hand. But it's summoned itself. This card is sent from the field to the graveyard. Draw a dark reptile monster special summon this card from your hand. Normal summon. Oh, it's a light. All right, we're whiffing. No worry. I guess having more snakes in the grave isn't a terrible thing. By the time you get deity on the board, you've won. Blow Ghost is the worst Ogdoidic. Alright, it's Exodia again. No worries. It's the best deck so far because you can actually combo with this one. Yeah, I mean, we lost to this with two 4k monsters on the board, so... I've drawn all five pieces. I'm jealous. Well done. I technically would have if my opponent didn't scoop like the, the monster they were. Uh, he'll probably destroy this. Mezzaline. This guy is synchro summoning using reptile monsters as material. It can be destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh my god. That's great. Do that. Mezzuline. Mel Melusine. M Melusinine. I can't destroy that, though. It's a sucky thing. Ah, uh, I forgot about Obliterate. I was just thinking about the Dogmatic Punishment. Never mind. But Namanaga, more like Reptile Beatdown. I guess so. Uh, so what, we just don't summon again? Or we just we just wait till we build up a hand and then try and pop off? Because you can only take one card off the field. Two cards, actually, with Dogmatic Punishment. Two Punishments. Woofed. My opponent's going to absolutely batter me, aren't they? Yo, Venomanon. I will just obliterate my monster back to the hand. Obvs. Probably going to lose. Let's draw. We knew that, though. The storyline with Professor Viper was really dark. Yeah, he's like, son died. And he was just trying to get him back, really. But then it went a, he went a bit too uh, over the top, I guess. And he died at the end. Even worse. Yee, is he going for Incarnate already? This seems er way too early to go for Incarnate. I don't know. Oh, no, he's got three pieces in. Never mind. Uh, he's on the way. Mm. No attack. Nice username. Yeah, I, I played against him earlier on Ranked. Oh my god, I can steal his Exodia piece. But it'll do nothing for me. Will it? Yes, it can, because I can get out Venomanaga. Aha! No, wait, he'll just bounce it. Ah! Um. I don't know what to do. Oh, is the tap though? That's true. I guess he can bounce. Okay, no, he just he can bounce the Exodia piece back to his hand. Oh no, I didn't think about that. Activate this, bounce that, and he's even close to victory. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Uh, not great for us. 
Uh, probably the worst decision I've made. Not gonna lie. I need to play the Destiny board deck, I think. This is just nightmare fuel to play against. Destiny board's the strongest one by far. I don't know about that one. I get... Uh, I don't know. Board one is... Yeah. Destiny board wins the fastest. Exodia seems to be... Working the best. Uh, and Phenomenon seems to have a lot of different ways to win. But... You can also move really well. Target one face of reptile monster control and two cards your opponent controls. Destroy all three targets. Okay, we can do that. Never mind. Uh, he's won, right? Yeah, he's won. Unlike some stinky opponents, I'm going to let him actually get his uh, animation. What's this? If this Kaisen special summons great attack, one face up monster opponent controls and one monster in their graveyard, the equal or higher attack, a special summon that monster from their graveyard to their field. I think it still would have won. Oh, he, uh. Does he win with it on the field? Does that still work? Or can he not win with that? Oh, uh -huh, nice! I'm alive! There's more Venomina. Oh, I should have sent Venomanaga away. I'm alive! Woohoo! <laughs> oh no, I should have just summoned in defense or something. Uh... One. Two, three, four. Draws four new cards. Maybe he'll deck himself out. That'd be nice. Uh, how can he win? How can he get uh, Exodia Incarnate back from the graveyard? Is that possible? So if he smashes this into this, he can put that back in the grave. How will he get Exodia the Forbidden One back to his hand? Mm, that's fine. Actually, mm, is it fine? Maybe I should have destroyed it. Oh, nope. Definitely didn't mean that. Just clicking button buttons at the moment. My bad. Do you think you could have got that in the grave so easily? Just give him another one. Can he use another obliterate? I guess so. How many cards in their deck? There's 13. 13 more cards. His last piece of Exodia is in the graveyard. He's got a Incarnate in the grave. Oh, yeah. He'll have to destroy it again. I see. Oh, yeah. He goes one. Air play. I thought we had him. Maybe we should just left him with Exodia. Oh, well, well. Can I play something other than Exodia, please? We was playing just the um, Destiny board at the start. Now we're just playing Exodia. Good move by him. Yeah. Yeah. 
This deck is good, but you have to know a little bit about the snakes. Yeah. I need a bit more knowledge, don't I? I didn't think it'd be this hard to get three wins. One win win each of the deck. Oh, Dark Hole, nice. It's a shame we're playing Exodia again, question mark. Ah, okay. Harpies, though. One. Two, go on. Fill it all. Three. Two more. Ah. No worries. Um, I might wait another turn. I think he'll fill the back row up even more. Yeah, no rush, no rush. End phase. Duster FTK. He'll set two new cards face down. I'll play Harpies. He'll cry. Surely. One a piece. It's good. Maharaji. Okay. Is he going to be cheeky and his battle face? Thank God. Mm. I can't do any damage this turn. Set that. One, two, three. Set that. We'll wait one more turn. I can't do any damage yet, so I don't want to pop off. Water Lily resummoning stuff. Send a reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then if you have five or more reptile monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can special summon a reptile monster from your graveyard. Okay, so I need to get five reptiles in the graveyard before I activate it. Well, four, technically. Just Duster now. Oh, he hasn't done anything. Well, Duster now. Alien Dog. I play Harpy's Feather Duster. This is where he just activates everything, I guess. Yadagarasu, draw one. That's it. Okay. Harpy's Obliterate. Show me some Obliterates face down. Oh my god! I've just destroyed three Tig of Destinies. <laughs> no! <laughs> How many cards are you going to draw? He's got what? One, two, three, four, five cards in hand. Three, six. <laughs> it's insane. Now, yeah. Oh, no, we already had that. Oh, no, we didn't. If you control a dark reptile monster, where do I get a dark? There's one. Harpies seem like your salvation, but now it's your downfall. Look at his hand. That's not even Max C. Imagine if we just give him uh, Exodia now. Uh, I'll take the, the crocodile. Oh, I should take the big one. We use Water Lily now. Activate Water Lily. Send, I don't know, uh, this thing. What do I want back? That has a tap point, so I want that. Did I do it wrong? Oh, you're supposed to send the level 8. My bad. Sausages. I'm still, I'm whiffing as well.
Ah, oh, that's fine. Right, I've, I've messed up. I'll admit it. You want to the level 8 snake. Okay. I get Water Lily now. You send the fat one, and you special summon it back. Oh, man, he's absolutely going to draw all five pieces of Exodia straight away. He's not even going to need to incarnate, is he? Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Ah, jeez. And he's definitely got some obliterates in hand. Entis. Maybe he, he maybe he doesn't read. Maybe he'll try and destroy my, my uh, Malozine. No reading? No. And then you dark hole it into Venominaga. Oh, I see. You send Venominon, Dark Hole, Venominaga, attack three times directly, profit. Of course. Once per chain, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls, change attack to zero. Uh, kind of pointless. Oh my god! You can take that. Snake. I'm so screwed. Let's be honest, I was probably losing anyway. Yeah, in archetype Exodia Max C. Exodia C. Max Exodia. These reckless greens are going to draw hard. No, don't go back. Stay with me, Mahara. Oh. Didn't even want it. Forbidden C. Forbidden C works quite well, actually. Ah. Super duper lost. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. Yes. Probably going to get it bounced. To be fair, free, free digs at the same time with Harpy's Feather Duster was insane. It was. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? I don't know what to do anymore. I've totally lost. We knew that was coming. He didn't, he's not going to lose. <laughs> he's going to bounce my mezzaline back to my hand. I.e. back to the extra deck. There's no way he didn't draw an obliterate. Hoi hoi. I wanted that damage. I wanted it so badly. Sure, I'll place two A counts on my own monster. I don't know why, but. End phase. Ahoy, hoy! Thank you, Phoenix. Did we get a sneak peek at the April deck? I showed it off. I showed it off in the last stream. It's still not set in stone, but I think I'm playing with it. Now you have to isn't part of greed. No.
Max E. I like making everything go down to zero. That feels nice. I just wish I could attack. Another Dogmatica Punishment. Uh, he's getting rid of all his Dogmatica Punishments. How is he supposed to um, win? I guess he's just trying to draw them all. Oh, Venomenon. No, I don't want to do that. How many Lilies do we play? Have we got more than one? I might stick the phenomenon in the grave. You play three. Okay. We'll stick uh, phenomenon in the grave in a bit then. Oh, these defense draws. <laughs> I'm sick of being obliterated. That's impossible. No one's been able to summon him in five minutes. Ah. I need one more win. What is this? All right, we learned, we learned some things. We learned a little bit more about the deck. I actually have to get good with this one. I can't just take my sweet time. You also play Limit Reverse, which lets you summon Venom back. Okay. I'll go first. I'm going to try to get set up. Nice, Lily there. Oh yeah, limit reverse. Take one monster with thousand or less attack in your graveyard, special minute attack. Okay. Normal summon. Activate effect. Because I control a dark reptile, I can special summon this card. Next. Um I guess we're trying to get this thing first. So we'll go for King of the Feral Imps. Activate its effect. Send you to the grave. This lets me add another snake. I can add Phenomenon now. How many snakes do I have? One, two, three. That will be my fourth. Grab the king. Yeah, but how do I get another one in the grave? Add that card to my hand. Limit reverse it. Send one reptile from your deck to the grave. And if you have five or more reptile monsters of different names in your graveyard, you can special summon a reptile monster from your grave. Okay. Do I send the fat snake? Oh, no, the other fat snake isn't in there. Trap trick hunts for Rise of the Snake Deity. Okay. What's Rise of the Snake Deity's effect if my card's destroyed? In fact, I'm going to Google it real quick. I can't remember. Rise of the Snake Deity. Oh, this is why we have Dark Hole, right? We want our snake to be destroyed. Uh, when a face of phenomenon you control is destroyed, except by battle. Okay. Can miss timing. All right, we're playing Exodia again. It's always fun. Yep, 
You got? You didn't get anything in your pack? Oh no. Kakadi is fine. Oh, we can destroy ourselves. That's cool. Activate trap trick. Set. Rise of the snake deity. Face down. Activate limit reverse. Special summon phenomenon in attack. We have to be able to destroy it. Or else we do not look very good. If he's got a set obliterate, we're in a big pickle. Nice. Switch to defense. Rise of the Snake Deity's effect kicks in. Trap trick can lock you out. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We didn't get obliterated. Our monsters are affected by card effects, so we there's nothing that should go wrong. One thousand attack is not a lot, uh, but we can we can fix that, I think. Oh, I don't have a dark uh, snake. Where can I get a dark snake from? There's my dark snake. Summon. Activate effects. Mm, go on, I'll make this. Send another snake with this. Maybe not yet. Whoa, we got enough a game. If you can't stop it. We touch catch later. Sorry that Twitch is playing up. Nah, no eight counters. Oh, I see. You can destroy your snake with that as well. That's kind of cool. I assume obliterate. No, it wouldn't be obliterate. You would have used it by now. B5. Dig. 23. Is it enough attack? Venominaga attack. I'll never be able... I won't be able to use Venominaga's effect. I won't be able to do enough damage. It's too much. Uh, does this count as damage? It's zero. No, it doesn't. End phase. Kind of cool. Sam doesn't want the wing con. I, no, I want the wing con. I just don't think I'll be able to get it because of um, how low his life points are already. He'll get uh, an add. I'll make it go down to zero. The level four you have can search Lily. Ooh. Oh yeah, add an Ogdewadic spell or trap. I can bring back my uh, my phenomenon. The base phenomenon. Down, break it to This is the match, I believe. Now has the worst alternative win condition with the best deck in general. It's not great, is it? Like, you're just going to win. Normal summon, Lily, Lily's effect, profit, hopefully win. There's like, I can't see me losing with all these cards.
That's a lot of back row, by the way. <laughs> Kaka D! Could it be? Oh, he special summoned uh, Ecclesia. Silly Zany. Can't win still. Hmm. Hmm. Let's make my graveyard grow. Water lily. Special summon my phenomenon, the king of poisonous snakes. Look at this field. Okay, here we go. Now, this has an effect, right? I could just bring it back. If he doesn't destroy it. My snake! With each snake you destroy, my other snakes rise in power. You have weakened yourself, I think you'll find, Zany. Oh, it has to be destroyed by battle? Oh. Attack? Question mark? Can he even get his car card D off the field? He has to have defense draw or he dies. No! Well done. Uh, I can't destroy that. Fair enough. My bad. It's okay. Snake? Snake? Colonel. I'll do me. Colonel Campbell said I had to infiltrate. He told me some secrets and then suddenly died. But I'm like, it's probably my favorite episode of GX. It's good. It's a cool duel. What does he use to beat um, Venomanaga now? Jaden. He gets out um, uh, Magma Neos, doesn't he? Oh, can't win again. He could make a comeback, you know. Won a couple times with Exodia. Exodia seems the most consistent to win. It's the longest to win. Magma Neos, yeah. It's cool. What's a cool duel? Snake deity. Uh. Punishment and obliterate carry. They do. They do. He's going to go for my uh, mezzaline, I think. I want the Ogdaway Dick Monster that um, lets me special summon from the Water Lily again. What was the name of the one that let me uh, just add whatever? 
forgotten its name. That one. Now ya. Now you done it, Zany. Fifty five hundred attack point for Namanaga, the deity of poisonous snakes. Kinda cool. Not gonna lie. No, I wanna summon that. Set this. In phase. Question to chat. Offering the snake deity. I can target my Venomanaga and it won't do anything bad, right? It'll just destroy my opponent's stuff. And she won't get... Mezzaline's also fine. If this synchro card, you can try to send to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect. You can add one reptile from your deck to your hand. All right, I'm going to use it on uh, Venomanaga. Oh, it can't destroy a battle or cut effects. End of the main phase. I'll do it in the end phase. End phase. Activate. Try it on Reptilian Mezzaline. Uh, we want to attack directly, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. Protected by your opponent's cut effects? Well, well, well. Now we just need to we just need to get past his defenses. Normal summon now yeah. Give me another water lily. We've got 20 cards left in the deck. Reckless. Imagine. Imagine he just draws five pieces of Exodia. Oh god. 18 cards left? I mean it's possible. If he activates the third one, it's very, very possible. That's half his deck, nearly. Okay, okay. There's no way he's got one piece already in there. We're fine. Water Lily. Opponent can't draw for four turns. Ah, uh, two turns, two turns. You blew up the third one. Oh, he did? Nice. Nice. I bring back my very soul of poison for Namanaga. Two 5,500 attack point monsters. Look at me go. Surely one of these can break through the defenses. Oh my god. Haven't you run out of Entuses? <laughs> well, you've made my life points grow even stronger. Battle. Venomanaga, the deity of poisonous snakes. I, I'm sorry. I don't know how you get the wing con off with that. Impossible. It's a cool monster. It's not a great monster, but it's a cool monster nonetheless. Yay. Hold on. Woohoo. Passage of the Sun Pack. I'll take it. Can I have some Egyptian God cards, please? All of that for an Insector Hornet. I forget. Um, I def I had the Destiny board win, but he scooped before I got the animation. The Exodia win. How did we win with Exodia again? I forgot the Exodia win. Did we actually get Exodia Obliterate? Or did we win with that battle damage? I can't remember. 
What happened with this? And this one with one phenomenal with second. They scooped before you drew the winning card. You're kidding. I know this one they scooped before I got the winning blow. Did this one scoop as well? They scoop before you could end your turn and win. Oh, yeah, because they made the misplay in their last turn, which would have got them the win. And then it was ours, and we were about to win. So we did the animation on this one. We did the animation on this one. I think if I tried to get the uh, the Venominaga win uh, with the Venom deck, I think I'll be here all day. Because I'm just going to be going against the Exodia decks, and they're not going to be able to summon, and I'll have to attack three times. So I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I think we stop there and just call that a day. It was fun. Uh, I think these three decks playing against each other is kind of nutty, though. I think you needed more variety in this. Because, like, this thing was weird. <laughs> uh, but fun, though. I enjoyed that. I, I like the dual trials. I think they've always been fun. It's nice to play, like, some weird anime decks and everything. Oh, stop giving me solo mode wins. But, uh, missions are now on the new month. Uh, this has got just a couple more hours left. So, 11 a.m. So, 40 minutes or something? 2023, 31. Yeah, it's like 50 minutes and then that finishes. It's kind of cool. All right, cool. Um, I'll call that there. That's good for me. I see you, man. So I need a deck. Look to update the list. What, you want to look at my... Which decks? Which decks? What do you need? We've got... Dark Magician deck. What we finished with. This is pretty much what it looks like. Actually, no, this isn't true. We didn't have Magical Eyes Fusion in there. Get that out. Uh, we played Upstart. Three of this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll put another one of those back in. That's pretty much what we played with for the entire month. Oh, no, no quintet then. What did we have instead? Uh, a nightmare. After season 11, so 12. Oh my god. So what? Uh, so, like, hero deck? So we had the Christmas deck, which was Elemental Heroes. Uh, and this was, like, one of my favorite decks to play. It was really good. We didn't actually keep the, the, the evil heroes in, but we kind of did. So that's fine. Uh, then we went to Cyber Darks for January, Cyber Monday. We did not play Free Seal of Orokokos. Why is that in there? Why did I put Free Seals in? What was that about? Uh, is that how I played? Did I put? Is there anything weird in there? There's some nutty stuff I've played, clearly. Um, after that, it was Charmers. Played the Charmer deck. Was a lot of fun. Are you excited for Clockwork Night for Cyber Dragon? I am. It's going to be so good. Uh, we're good in a lot of decks, to be fair. We're good in the Machina deck quite well. So that was that. And then... Season 2. What was Season 3? January, February, March. Oh, March. Um, That was Dark Magician. So yeah, Dark Magician was the, the most recent one. And that's March. Not too bad. Charmer's quotation marks. Charmer deck. What is this thing? Aquila Fort Sky Base. Dismantle that. Who plays that? I mean, I had that. Oh, 
What's April going to be? Ah. Might be a Winged Dragon of Raw deck. I think. I thought I have two of this. Oh, one of that one. Okay, okay. Do I need a Rainbow Dragon? Probably not. Do I need Uni Zombie? Can I get rid of Uni Zombie if I buy the packs? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Sacred Beasts. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Have a clown deck for April. I guess we could. All right. Guys, thank you so much for joining the stream. I will be back on Monday. We will be starting a brand new month with a brand new deck. I will let you know exactly what it's going to be. For the time being, it's going to be an Egyptian God deck. It's going to be the Winged Dragon of Ra. But that could change. I could change my mind. So don't set in stone for that. Uni Zombie is an structured deck, so dismantle. I will. Um, see you all soon. Thank you for joining the stream. Uh, thank you for all the follows. We are literally 48 more followers away from 15,000 followers. So that's really cool. Uh, bye everyone. Bye Chris. Bye Z-Man. Bye Nameless Dude. Bye Dinas. Bye uh, Ugshad GG. Bye everyone. See you soon.